Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, Power World and we're going to go ahead and do two episodes today because it would just help to bring up our stats and everything and get more content out to y'all. I hope everyone is well and having a good day. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or anything I'm definitely always responding to comments as I see them or come by them uh, let's see what we need wood we're gonna need some uh, probably some palladium fragments I know we're probably low on stone as well oh no we've got 41 stone so really we no we got ooh. So we got enough, we can start making more pal spears. What we're going to go ahead and do is make 13 of those. Straight off the bat. Because we need pal spears to be able to catch team members. And we just used most of ours to catch that merchant in the last episode. And honestly, that merchant was a great find. We, we now have a way to trade and be able to sell things right at the base. And that is the best way to do it. Don't have to worry about finding them out in the world or just going to the spots they're at. Like, I know there's a couple trader spots, a small settlement, and a couple other things nearby. But, hey, you know, this works out a lot better. And, uh, we need, I'll just make this up so we have at least a few more arrows. We got 57 of those, 30. Uh, we should be good. Honestly, if we could get the cloth... To be able to make the cloth outfit, it would be amazing. Because that's the only thing holding us back about being out in the night. And we're going to take damage while we're out, but so be it. Because honestly, it, I'd rather be out here. Ooh, a Tombat, come here. You are mine. Not letting you go nowhere. Oh, this might be a big mistake with the bow I've got and the attack I've got. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. And he's poison. I have to remember to dodge. And there's no potions in the game currently. So what we're going to have to do... I'm sorry, I'm trying to dodge around. Oh, see, we died. You know... That's not so bad though, because honestly, I think he keeps his HP. So, what we can do here, run back to the ba Well, we have to spawn at the base anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I said run back. But, we can go pick up all our stuff. Right there. And, take him out of it. Yes, he does keep his health. So, I mean, we're half health too, so we gotta keep that in, under, in mind. Oh, but I need all this stuff to even be able to fight him. Woo. Alright, we're actually making some dodges here. Oh, dang it. Those air ones. I never know when he's actually about to do it, so it's hard to estimate timing on dodging that. But I can dodge that one just fine. And there we go. 36%. Come on, we need a Tombat. This would be a perfect starter base, pal, really. Awesome. And the reason I say they're a perfect starter base, pal, I will explain in just a second. Because we are about to take him out. It is amazing to have a Tombat this early. Because I believe he has two mining. So what you need with the level 2 mining is you can mine all this ore right here. So now I can just set him in the base and we got ore coming in. Perfect. Honestly, I'm going to swap him out with the merchant for a bit. Take the merchant with me even though he's actually kind of useless. Uh, maybe he's useless. I don't know. Maybe he has a gun. Let's we'll see. 
I don't remember what they actually have in their own inventories. Now we've got enough food, we got enough gold, we got enough pal spear still to go out again. We're just waiting on our health to regenerate. And actually what we can do is make an egg and I believe this egg will help us heal up quicker. And eat that. Yes. So having full hunger done lets you eat quicker. And I've actually got to make this feed box before we go anywhere because these guys are going to starve. And the berry plantation. I am neglecting my own pals. Look at that. So we need wood and stone. Let's just knock this out right here. And then there should be a stone. Not too far. Surely. Speaking of the desolate church, it's actually a good place to pick up, uh, there's a statue of power in here. Mm, that upgrades your character and your pals. Really don't need those in the churches. I don't see why they're there, because we build one at the base anyway. And there's a fast travel point, gives us a tech point. We always use those extra tech points. And then, yes, so inside the church you'll find a chest and this lift monk effigy. Now, with the lift monk effigies, you can upgrade your character's capture power. I don't know if that's still bugged or not. I've heard both sides, so to each their own. I'm going to upgrade mine in the, this playthrough just to give you guys the full experience. So, as of right now... I mean, yeah, we should be doing the tutorial, increase your play level by capturing 30 pals, etc. But, honestly, there's not many pals around that are useful at the moment. Like, see, we're already getting ore. Perfect. I'd rather catch useful pals than ones that I'm just going to keep in the pal box and never use. But to be fair, we're going to have to do a mix because... The pals that are in the box that we never use are the ones that help us level up. Strangely enough. Because you gotta catch 10 of each pal, and that honestly gives you the XP you need to continue progressing in the game. And it, it will be a hassle. But we'll get there to one point. But I am happy with one change they altered in this last update. They've made it to where you can now have a... Uh, so when you condense pals in this essence condenser later in the game, you actually get the full value of the condensed pals whenever you try to condense a pal that's already got a star or something to another pal. I do like that change because I was I was hoping they would do that now we're gonna set down two berry plantations out here and the reason I do too is because it's just easier to keep up with food now at my work bases I do just let them eat berries because honestly it's easier for them to just eat berries and move on with life than it is for me to go collect all the stuff for them to eat ra uh, what, what would people call that? Ravishly? I don't know. Uh, Alright. Let's see here. We need wool. We need everything. So it's time to head out. We got the merchant with us. We got old bow. We got a stone spear. We need stuff. Time to find... Ooh! These are the ones I was just talking about earlier we need to catch. Because we can put these in the ranch and they could generate pal spears for us just on hand. Makes it so much easier. And that one's got a bottomless stomach so let's hope one of these other two are better passives. We'll see here in just two seconds. 
Well, uh, that one's at least got no negatives, but nothing too good. Aha! Uh, that's terrible. That's not a good work one at all. Muscle head decreases their work speed. That's why I say it's not really that great. Now these sparkets, eh, I mean they're useful. They generate electricity for the most part, but you don't really need that anytime soon. But you do need their electric organs. That that will help you progress in, tremendously. If you can collect at least 50 or 60 of those electric organs, I believe it is, before the power generator unlocks, you can just go ahead and make it makes it so much easier to just pop that in and be able to move on you don't have to go looking for them because you have to catch so many of those electric pokemon to get those now i'm trying to get a workaholic vixie because they're the easiest to get pal spears off of i believe Aha. So there's a level 6 one down there too. We need 10 of them anyway to get the max level bonus. So this will just... Oh, serious. I don't know if that's work related or attack related. Either way, it's a good passive. We'll keep that. Uh, muscle head isn't what you want on a ranch. Creature. Hard skin. Uh, at least we got rid of... The muscle head and the bad passive. That was main concern. And he's down. I didn't even know these thugs were here. But might as well take them out. Yeah, they drop ammo sometimes too. Now these low level ones will only drop coarse ammo. But when you get to the higher level ones out here in the dunes. And everything. Oof. They drop all kinds of stuff. Rocket launcher ammo, I mean everything. But, we'll get there eventually. And you gotta work your way up. Just like any other game. At the beginning we want to be focusing on getting good base pals and getting a ore set up more going than anything. And as I'm running back I am collecting all these stones and wood just anything I can collect and honestly I'll just go ahead and start collecting these flocks because I mean yeah they're weak and they are useless but XP so all we're caring about at the moment is XP and actually I believe you can ride these rush boars and it's kind of like your first uh, early game mining pal I guess you would say you can ride them and then you can hit the ore nodes and everything and they do some good damage to it. So you're able to just mine really quickly on some nodes without having to get off your pet. I mean, yeah, handy. But you get enough per node that if you just set up a good ore base, you should be set up. So right now we're wanting to find some pals that would help us in the long run ooh there's a chest that's gonna be handy now randomly throughout the map you're gonna find chests and those cards that we have found already and now oh, that one didn't have much and only had bread and all right bread and coins coins are hard to get though so I mean yeah that's valuable we're not really looking for rush boars, but I mean, what else? Oh, I'm out of pal spears already. We might as well head home then. Before I head home, I'm getting that chest. So right now, I'm not going to summon out the wandering merchant. Apparently he doesn't even have his gun anymore. He just uses his fists. So I'll summon spark it. At least he can do something. And they honestly aren't that bad to kill. They're pretty weak for the most part. 
That's awesome. Makes it easier. Now, we will run into opponents, so this is not going to be what the case. Like, it, it's going to be a hard challenge. That's just later. I mean, that's always how games are, though. You start out, everything's easy, and you have a blast, and then you get to the hard, grindy part, and you're going to have to get through it. But, I mean, the grinding's part of the fun. This game's actually really awesome. Like, I will say this. If Nintendo ever did come up with something like this, they would have actually made a great game. But, uh, I don't believe anyone at Nintendo has the mind to get out of their own Nintendo space and be able to pursue something like that. Because I don't believe Nintendo makes PC games. I don't believe, unless you get, like, emulators and whatnot, you can't really get a PC game on your... Like, eh. Mario and all that. I never found it that interesting myself, but I do know a lot of people that like it. And honestly, if they would have went the route of making those games cross-platform, they probably would have got a lot better sales than what they have gotten to this point. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Everyone has their own. I don't personally like Nintendo systems. I think they run like trash. And what we want to do is we want to make some food, but we need to get a fire pal. So right now, we're going to go ahead and make this little hut. Now, I call it a little hut because it is just going to be a little hut. And we need to do it because we need a bed. And honestly, I just don't like to have a bed out in the open. I mean, even if it's a game, you still want it to look at least a little decent, eh? Give it a little spruce up and about here and there. I mean, our little chest area is going to be whatever, but... You know, let's have a little tiny base spot. Mm, you know, we can't block the ore nodes or anything, so I'm just going to place it off to the cliff. Aww, that's not fair. So apparently, you cannot, and that is not built the right way, that's going to bug the heck out of me. Probably some viewers too. There we go. So now, we're going to want a wooden stair. Probably two. Nah, I guess not. So, we can build a wooden door. Let's see here. Inside, we're just going to build a window back with sides. Up front, we're going to have a no. Uh, we might as well just window the whole thing. It's not like anything's coming up here and going to actually do anything, you know. And in order to do that, we're going to have to place these first. And it's easier to get it lined up and snapped to do this first because otherwise you're just going to be rotating it endlessly to get it in the right spot and you have to place these first because for some reason it just likes to do that but what you do is you get up close and yeah there we go that's what we're wanting and same with the other side get up close have it pointed the right way and pop it in you kinda gotta get janky with it but I mean it is an early access game what can you expect um, there we go uh, trying to get it just perfect here there and now we can build our shoddy bed that requires wool. I guess I'm going to have to go back to that starting area just to get some dang wool. I hate to do it, but 
Uh, gonna need some pal spears and stuff. Let's see what we can do over here. So we need a shoddy bed. Pal spears. Let's go ahead and make a shield first. And we have a little bit of arrows being made. We'll help them make the shield. Now what we really want to do is we want to repair all our stuff. We want to be able to make a more power spears. We're going to go catch a few of those sheep because they are good for the... Like I said earlier, they're good for getting wool out of the ranch because we're going to work on a ranch today. At some point. Uh, well, probably not in this episode, but... You know. We'll get there. Everything takes time. Alright. So. Let's see here. We got four. It's enough to start. I'll go ahead and teleport back to the beginning. And run back up here. Because that's going to be the best way to capture anything. Otherwise we're just going to be looking for a while before we find any sheep ish stuff that we can actually deal with because there are other like king packa and the malpacas and all that that you can get wool from them but they're higher level stuff that we really can't do at the moment with just an old bow and a stone spear now since we're over here uh, we're a little low on berries. Might as well just pick up a little bit here. We can go ahead and drop the seeds. We get plenty from just the seeds at home. Seeds, bye. Useless. And palladium fragments. Alright, let's see here. Where are all the... Oh, there's chickpea. We need eggs eventually to make cake. How dare you? I was about to say, reject me. There we go. Yeah, there ain't no way we're messing with that anytime soon. 4,181 health. Phew! That's gonna take some time. We'll get guns and we'll be able to deal with him one day. We don't really want to gum us. Eh, we will eventually for levels, but that's besides the point. That's the one I'm talking about, Melpaca. I'm wondering though, can I catch it? Let's try. Because if I can, that would be absolutely amazing. But, I mean, it is level 9. We're lucky to find that. Because they're usually like level 11 or 10 and higher. And then, you really get a low capture rate the higher level they are. Just one more. And now. So, yeah. The capture rate's only 50%. Because those really take the next one up the mega spears but we got eight wool and two leather out of that that is exactly what I'm talking about that's what we needed get some health up in there and I don't know why I just threw that but we do need a fox sparks that was the other reason I came over here and I believe there should be a pal spear on the ground somewhere I need it. <laughs> oh, God. oh, geez, I need it now. Or I just. Alright, I might as well kill you and just find another. Sorry, mate. But. We. We're just gonna have to cross paths later. Alright. That was enough wool and stuff to get me going. Now, what I will eventually need is to be able to make um make the breeding farm that's what we're really going to want to get into but that's going to be later game too so right now we're going to go back to the base and we're going to start well I don't know how uh, did we start doing this a little bit yeah I think so because I don't think we have a fire guy here. No, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it either. So, yeah. 
And he does the rant. I'm wondering if Melpacas are the same as those little sheep. And what you can do is you can go ahead and make a ranch. Now we need more wood and stone. That's not a problem. And we can throw him down and we can get a continuous supply of wool. But also we need the bed so that we can even upgrade to that. Yeah, there we go. And cancel. I don't want it there. And you get all your stuff back whenever you disassemble stuff. I'm thankful for that. Disassemble. I need to say words right. Eh, maybe put it in the middle. Give it some aesthetics in here. They used to glitch trying to come into the houses and work, but I think they fixed that. They did a lot of bug fixes in these last two updates, I noticed. There we go. Now, we can also sleep through the night, and we can go ahead and upgrade to three pals. Get this Melpaca. No... We don't want the Melpaca out right now. So what we want out right now would be... What's serious? Work speed. That's what I like to see. We want Vixie. Because Vixie is going to be able to help us get Pal Spears. Pal Spears is going to be able to help us progress. And catch more Pals. That's the way we want to go about this. And we're going to go ahead and make two of these beds. Because one more is just going to unlock another pal to be able to be let out. And we're just going to let out that male pocket we were just going to let out. And let's keep it on a similar angle here. There we go. Oh, can't even build it. I didn't even pay attention. You need wood. Well, alright then, mate. Now I'll go get some wood. Let's see what we can come up with here. So the reason we want the ranch is this really going to help us. Like the Melpaca is going to be providing wool. The Vixie is going to be providing Pal Spears. That will ease our tensions on needing Paldium to get the at least the little Pal Spears. We need this cloth because we need the cloth outfit. It'll help us protect through the cold of the night. And that is like a huge thing. Alright, we'll let him build that while we focus on the ranch. We need a lot of wood and a lot of stone. But you know what? It's worth it. And getting all this ore from this Tomcat is really amazing. Especially this early game. I'm still shocked we found him. He's he's actually a quite a rare find. From what I've noticed through my last playthrough. Unless they've updated that or something. But he was a rare find for me. At least. To find him this early just shocks me. Now that wood node or that stone node still there I don't think we cleared it completely the last time or maybe we did and it's respawned which would be a great idea a great thing because uh, we need at least I think 40 stone for the ranch come on 33 I haven't really upped the rates on anything. 2.0 pal appearance. I did do that. Uh, I did lower the eggs hatch rate to an hour instead of two hour time span. But really I made the game without the mods it would be just a regular vanilla game. And the only reason I have the mods is their quality of life mods. These usually have spoil timers. I, I don't believe games should have spoil timers. It's just, it's a game. 
And then, like, there's just so many mechanics to it. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we are going to put away everything that we can. Awesome. And we're also going to take everything out of there. See what will fit into this one. And that way because I don't like having the things mixed up but the pals don't like to put them in the correct boxes most of the time so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the base again I'm gonna deploy the Melpaca because spark it yeah is only handling and transporting so Melpaca it is and we are going for a ranch now this ranch is going to be fun to figure out a placement because I'm not sure oh honestly I think that would work now it can't be at the edge of your base I do know about that I've heard issues if it's past the blue lines so let's see if it's past the blue lines here and it's not it's just got a tree in it so I don't mind that and maybe the tree will just get buzz off with the ranch being built here. I don't mind that either. I do mind if that ore node disappears for good. Because we actually kind of need that. But. Alright guys. I believe that will do it for this episode. I hope you all have a wonderful day. 